The Power Rangers franchise has been going on for 30 strong years. That's three decades worth of content, and as you know, fans come and go. We got old fans who grew up on Mighty Morphin, those 2000s kids who grew up with the Disney era, as well as those new fans who grew up watching the show on Nickelodeon. So when you're coming in new to a big franchise like this, the big question is, where do I start watching? Now the reality is, each Power Rangers season is kind of independent, they all have their own individual stories, but apparently all these shows take place in one shared universe. How, you may ask? Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Este here, and today we're talking about how every season of Power Rangers is connected. Now, there's not necessarily an overarching storyline that goes between the different seasons, except for the first few. Sometimes there'll be cameos from previous Power Rangers or Power Ranger villains, or even just side characters too. We first start off with the Zordon era, and each of these seasons in this era are directed connectedly. What? And each one of these seasons are directed connectedly. For Mighty Morphin, we have the original three seasons that go on about our teenagers with attitude. We saw how the Rangers were formed, Tommy coming in, the Dinozords, Rita Repulsa, Lord Zed would show up, then we got some Thunder Zords, Tommy would leave, come back as the White Ranger, three of the originals left, three new ones came in, they lost their Thunder Zords, met Ninja, got Ninja Zords, Ninja Powers, Kimberly left for Cat, they got Metallic Armor, and eventually at the end of the show, lost. Yeah, they lost to the villains at the end of Mighty Morphin. Master Vile, kinda a ghost. We then move on to the Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, a 10 episode miniseries that is directed connectedly. Why do I keep saying that? We see the Mighty Morphin Rangers still in the show, but now they're kids. And Alien Rangers are here to protect the world while these kid rangers look out for pieces of a Zeo Crystal. Once they go back to normal, get all the Zeo Crystals together, their command center blows up. Zio go! Zio! it's a sequel to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It follows the same characters that we saw in season three of MPR, with the exception of Billy, you know, not becoming a Blue Ranger. He is now the tech geek. Aisha is gone, as is now a place for Tanya. And we have Rita and Zed run off into who knows, a trailer. And then the Machine Empire comes and is now the new villains of the season. There's a six ranger that shows up, the tray of Triforia, an alien, well, three aliens who comprise into one ranger, who then switch their powers over to Jason, the original Red Ranger. We then get Power Rangers Turbo, which is a direct continuation of Zeo. However, Turbo did have a movie before it, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. Monty Morphin did have one too, Monty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, but that isn't connected, that's in a separate universe. You know, they have different suits. And Dulcia, that's different and a weird Megazord, but y'all know that. Comic question of the day, if you can travel the Power Rangers multiverse to meet any character you want in Power Rangers history, who would it be? Personally, I wanna go meet Troy of Power Rangers Megaforce and help him fight against that army of water bottles in the forest. I think that would be a fun bonding activity. Leave a like to lock in your answer, 1500 likes and I'll do more videos just like this one. Jason, the Gold Ranger has left the team, apparently. Uh, Rocky, got an injury and cannot be a Power Ranger anymore. You know who he is now? Justin. He's a kid and he's a Power Ranger. There's new villains, new Zords, and even a new cast in the middle of the season. Yeah, Tommy, Cat, all those other people, they left the show and we got a new cast. So the season kind of got rebooted in the middle of the season. Even Zordon and Alpha dipped for Demetria in another Alpha, okay? And like in Mighty Morphin Season 3, the villains win! Again, the command center got destroyed again. You know what they did? They went to... IN SPACE! Power Rangers in space. This is a very important season and it is the end of this main continuity that we've seen, the story that we've been following for six years now. It ended the practice of having a main cast go from season to season. From there on, we would have a new cast every season. But for this final season, we did get some new villains, new zords, new suits, you know the drill. Justin didn't go into space with his friends, because you know, he's a kid. 
I guess, good opportunity. We got Andros from KL35, who is now a Red Ranger, and his long lost buddy, Zane, the Silver Ranger of the team, too. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, the first post Zordon series, and the first time that, you know, we're gonna get independent stories not seen in the past. We got Quasar Sabres and Terra Venture, but even with all this new stuff, there's some direct connections with the past season and just the general Zordon era. Like, we got Alpha 6, who was the original successor of Alpha 5, uh, introduced in Turbo. He's still in the show. We got the Astro Mega Ship and Power Rangers in Space still here, and we also had the comedic duo Bulk and Skull pull up with their professor. Phenomenus, cool name. It is to my understanding though, Skull overslept the Terra Venture flight, so he wasn't really a main character. Also remember Astronema from In Space, she's a good guy now. She's Corone and the Pink Ranger of the team. It also had a crossover with Power Rangers In Space, which bought the trend of crossovers being the way that these seasons are connected in the same universe. You know what is one thing that brings the Este universe together though? You guys, the E-Squad, subscribe and ring notification bell to join the E-Squad today. The best fan base in the multiverse. E-Squad comment of the day, leave a funny comment down below, put the E-Squad in it, and you might be in the next video, hypothetically. Lightspeed Rescue is truly, in my opinion, the first independent, fully, Power Rangers season. It does have a connection with Lost Galaxy, though, by a team-up episode. That being Trakina's Revenge. Power Rangers Time Force also follows a similar matter by having a crossover with Lightspeed Rescue connecting it to the rest of the universe. Which that episode being called Time for Lightspeed, which I think is really cool because, you know, combines two morphing calls. It's clever. Wild Force is connected to the rest of the show by crossing over with the Time Force Rangers as well in the episode Reinforcements from the Future as well as bringing nine Red Rangers and the Quantum Ranger together to fight remnants of the Machine Empire in everyone's favorite anniversary special, Forever Red. When we go into the Disney era, connections start to get a little scary, kind of gets a little harder to link stuff together. Ninja Storm, when it first aired, people were like, how does this connect to the rest of the show? This could just be in a different universe. We did get the comedic duo of the villains Capri and Mara, Reference Triforia, the home planet of the Triforians, by saying the boys from Triforia are three times as cute as Earth. Get it? Because they're three guys and one dude. It's a little Easter egg, but it connects the show together. However, moving on to Power Rangers Dino Thunder, it has Tommy Oliver, so I guess it connects the whole show. And a crossover with the Ninja Storm Rangers too, so it connects Ninja Storm in the series as well. But Dr. Thomas Oliver is a very important part of Dino Thunder. He has like a dream where he fights all his different ranger forms and also like a time capsule in a way, recollecting the events of every single Power Ranger season. But my question is like, how does that work? Like, how does he know what happened in, in Ninja Storm? Apparently, Connor the Red Ranger has a family member who works in that Ninja Academy. But how does he know about the Time Force or the Lightspeed Rescue? I know he worked with those rangers in Forever Red, but I'm, I'm just asking. Power Rangers SPD is the first time we had a series not take place in the current time that the series is airing. So even though the show aired in 2005, the show was set in 2025. However, it's still connected to the rest of the universe because they would time travel and team up with the Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Mystic Force is connected to the rest of the series by one character. Piggy did show up in Mystic Force, just chilling, because he shares a voice actor with the Music Man guy, I guess. Put the suit back on, Piggy pulls up for a second. I thought that was cute. But no, we're talking about Rita Repulsa, who shows up in Mystic Force as a new character, the Mystic Mother. She's supposed to be just Rita Repulsa, but good now. Even though Rita did get, you know, good technically at the end of In Space, I guess she became a good guy in magic. Good for her, I guess. So yeah, Mystic Force connected with Mighty Morphin, also connected with SPD, so SPD still counts in the universe. Operation Overdrive is solely connected because of the Once and Ranger team-up special, which connects all of the Disney era seasons, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, SPD, and Mystic Force, as well as Mighty Morphin, boom, connected the whole universe together with one team-up episode. Jungle Fury didn't initially have a connection to the rest of the universe, however, Casey the Red Ranger would ultimately appear in a future season, Power Rangers Super Mega Force, so I guess, boom, it's connected now. Power Rangers RPM is the first time we have a series that actually does take place in a separate universe, but as we can tell in the future, like in Power Rangers Samurai, they had a team of episode, the RPM Rangers can travel to different dimensions. We see that from a subway. I guess, in that special. Gemma the Silver Ranger would shove in a portal in Ninja Steel. So, stuff connects. 
However, there are still references to the main universe and RPM, which really kind of threw us off. There is a Jungle Karma Pizza in this universe, which is the main headquarters of the Jungle Fury Rangers, but they're not in the show, so are they dead? Oh, we also saw a red Operation Overdrive helmet, so were there actually past Rangers in this universe? This is stuff we never really found out. Moving on to Power Ranger Samurai though, initially fans didn't really know where to fit this either. A book in Skull Sun Spike is in the show, so boom, Mighty Morphin Connection. We did get Mike and Emily, the green and yellow Samurai Rangers show up in the Super Mega Force Legendary Battle, so show's connected. Mega Force is connected to the rest of the series because, you know, Gosei is besties with Zordon. He learned from him, so boom, connection. Also, Super Mega Force, a series about all the past Power Rangers. So boom, the whole show is connected now. Legendary Battle, it's supposed to be a momentous occasion where all the Power Rangers, except like some six Rangers, some extra Rangers, pulled up, helped defeat the Armada. Good for them, you connected the show. Dino Charge initially, like we thought, was connected in this exact same universe where the Legendary Battle just happened, but no, it's in a different universe because of Dino Super Charge. They failed, they lost uh, to save the universe. Black Hole, new universe was created out of it where dinosaurs are alive so good for them however we see the dino charge universe cross over in multiple instances like in the next series power rangers ninja steel which is connected to the universe because of the crossover episode dimensions in danger which bought back a lot of actors from the saban seasons but also some disney ones here or there and for this case uh dino charge which you know dino charge pulled up from a different universe we had coda uh, was there for an episode. Also, Sledge was there too. Yeah, Sledge is a Power Rangers villain who pulls up in many different seasons. But we have some staples in there that really concreted its place in the timeline, like Wes, uh, the Red Time Force Ranger, as well as Tommy, of course. If you see Tommy there, the universe is connected. Then we got Beast Morphers, which is connected because the mayor knows about Rita Repulsa, as well as Gavinax, the villain of Ninja Steel. They knew about RPM and its different universe. Of course, Evox was Vengex. They knew about the Dino Charge team and its different universe because, you know, they took a class about all the different Power Rangers. They have a Ranger vault with so many different Power Ranger weapons inside. How they got those is a mystery to me. Mighty Morphin, Dino Thunder, Dino Charge. Jason pulled up too. The, the rest of the Mighty Morphin, Dino Thunder, they just jumped from a portal. They teamed up. It's connected. Everything's connected. They were fighting Putties and Vivix and Keeper pulled up from a different universe. Dr. K, RPM, pulled up different universe. And the Beast Morphers would continue to appear in the Power Rangers franchise in the next series, Power Rangers Dino Fury. Mick from Ninja Steel pulled up. Pulled up with the the prism. Beast Morphers showed up for a second. Uh, the Their commander was there. Morphin Masters also show up in Dino Fury to connect the events of Legendary Battle here too. Also, Lord Zed shows up in Dino Fury too. I think that's really important that we mention that. Mighty Morphin. But when the Dino Fury Rangers go up to space in Cosmic Fury, they meet the likes of the Dark Ranger from Dino Charge, who was from a different universe, and they also cross over with Billy of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So yes, Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury, they're all in the same universe. And that, my friends, is ultimately how all the Power Ranger seasons are connected, which ultimately, it's the Morphing Grid. Or imagination. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Don Fuego. I'm also on Instagram, not Don Fuego. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. And of course, and as always, stay awesome, everybody. Peace.